we are finally getting some numbers on the season finale of Loki. And lo and behold, nobody's surprised by this one, but Loki's final episode set a streaming record for Marvel and Disney+. Plus. Surprise! So we're not even going to get into all the numbers because obviously they're not official by Disney. They're independent, you know, looks into streaming numbers, app downloads, uh, what you're using to watch it and everything. So it's never a complete, you know, outlook, if you will, on everything. But what we learned since Loki, since people have been looking at how you typically track these things now where it's social media imprints response to articles and videos and of course data usage and streaming tv set top boxes and whatever you're analyzing loki to no surprise is the highest stream thing disney plus has had yet specifically that last episode that one is top tier meaning it's done more so than anything else on disney plus and set a new marvel views record for the MCU series and yeah I mean <laughs> like did anybody actually expect the opposite after like the first two to three episodes where the show started off slow well slow and I put that in quotation marks it was still tracking way ahead of the other shows but then it just like amped up so much fanfare and so much talk that going into that final episode I think there was more hype than any previous singular episode for anything Marvel Studios on Disney Plus. There was more chatter for the final episode of Loki than there was with the appearance of Quicksilver at the end of the uh, episode of WandaVision because people were just excited. They wanted to know what was happening. And you look at the search trends and Kang, Kang the Conqueror was trending before the final episode ever even hit. So even the casuals were looking for more info on what could be happening. That's the power of this series and the MCU as a whole at this point, we've learned. It has that ability to transcend past just the nerd community and hit a mainstream like nothing else. And one would assume Disney is really happy with this and probably looking at it as a unexpected Wow, that was really unexpected type of scenario. But then again, we knew that they were looking for multiple seasons of this even before they started shooting the first season, thanks to leaks and chatter from different actors. So they must have at some level knew that this thing was going to be somewhat big. And now I'm just interested to see how much bigger do they get with it? Because visually and money-wise, you can tell that this was the most expensive series to date. So my guess is that it's only going to get bigger and better from this point on out. And they're going to use these types of numbers to justify spending even more. Because make no mistake, by the time we get to Loki Season 2, it's probably going to like quadruple what the first season did, which is pretty impressive. 